Hey guys, it's Marissa at KitchenTableStamper.com. I'm making some quick thank you cards to send out to my customers. And I thought, why not just jump in and do a quick video? So I've got a sweet little thank you card here. I'm actually casing the catalog. If um, you find the card and you can pick out which one I cased, let me know. You can put it in the comments if you want. <laughs> I think that our catalogs are a great resource for some wonderful inspiration, and, but we can make those cards our own, and that's definitely what I did. So let's see if you can spot which catalog I, or which card I cased from the 2022-2023 annual catalog. I'm going to start with a crumb cake card base and some crumb cake ink. My card base is eight and a half by five and a half. And it's scored already at four and a quarter. I'm going to just run my bone folder and work this score line. When I do this, I hold the end of the card against my thumb so that everything lines up nice and square. All right, and we can manipulate the folds that way. If this is all lined up square, then you use your bone folder, manipulate the folds, and you get a perfectly flat, perfectly square, crisp fold every time. Now we're going to be using the cup of tea bundle and it's photopolymer. Let's grab a stamp and pierce mat. I've got some sprigs. Let me show you that set. You can bundle it up. Cup of tea stamps with the teacup dies and save 10%. Brand new in the annual catalog. I'll give you a hint. The card I'm casing is on the same page as this bundle. We are using these little sprigs right here and we are going to stamp them in crumb cake on crumb cake kind of up into the corner here and the right, and then down into the corner in the left, and maybe a little bit higher than we did on the top. So there's a little bit more, more room between the bottom and the sprigs. I think that'll give good placement when we line up our Orchid Oasis layer. All right, let's just change ink pads for a minute here. I have a scrap of basic white and this Orchid Oasis piece is two and a half by four. This is a layer for our background. So we want the measurement there. Let's bring some small grid paper. You can see I've been making thank you cards, lots and lots of these little flowers. And we're gonna ink up an Orchid Oasis, the flowers that actually fit in on that sprig. So you see how that works? You can get the little blue, the sprigs and you can make them bloom out of the teacup, which I think is totally cool. And we're going to stamp a couple of times. I'm gonna go kind of across the bottom. And then it's got, the stamp has got kind of a cool curve about it. And so I'm just gonna kind of intertwine the images. Try not to let them overlap, but I do wanna fill in the space here. Let's see if I turn that this way. Just I'm going for kind of um yeah, let's do that for this one. And then up here we're gonna do the same thing. We're going to turn the stamp this way and that and just kind of try to fill in without overlapping the layer beneath. It's kind of like a puzzle. All right, I think that looks pretty good. Let's slide that to the side. And now, from our basic white scrap, I've got the rectangular postage punch, and we're gonna punch ourselves a little rectangle. With what's left of this scrap, we need a flower. This is sweet sorbet. And two leaves, garden green. And I'm going to use this gorgeous curly Thank you greeting from Cup of Tea on our postage label. I'm going to ink up an Orchid Oasis and stamp that high of center. There's our thank you greeting. All right, let me clear away the ink pads and get the Stampin' Cut and Emboss Machine. Got my Stampin' Cut and Emboss Machine and the flower and leaves from the teacup dies. I love that you get two of each. So we're going to get this done in one pass, which is really nice if you're making a lot of something. Like we're making a lot of thank you cards here at Kitchen Table Stamper. So each card is just one pass because Stampin' Up doubled these little dies, which really is an awesome and thoughtful bonus from Stampin' Up. I'm going to line these guys up and give a crank. 
And there's our sweet little embellishments. One of the things I love about stamping, and I've been doing it for a long time, I feel like stamping is the sticker sheets or the embellishment packs that never run out, right? I've got these little flowers that I can put on anything and everything for the rest of my life and they'll never run out. <laughs> They're just so sweet. I get to throw a lot of that. All right, let's get our sample in here. Get this card put together. It's super fast, but adorable and really showcases the new in colors, I think. Oh, I have one more die cutting to do. I almost forgot my flag. All right, I got my stamp and cut and emboss machine back. I don't know how I forgot with this beautiful paper sitting here. This is our T Boutique Designer Series paper. And when you see this, don't cry, it's totally okay. We're going to stack, I had a full sheet, that's all I had, and a scrap of the two different papers, right? And now I'm going to take my die. It's this largest banner. I'm still working on a die sheet for this. It's almost ready from the Stylish Shapes dies. And we're going to just pop this little guy off the side of these two papers. You see that? About halfway. And let's go up to the top so we don't waste any of this beautiful paper. I'm gonna give this a crank. And now we have two flags for our card. Nice and simple. All right, now come on back here. Let's get this card put together. One more piece of designer series paper from T Boutique. This is one and a half by two and a half. It's got the fun little teacup pattern. I love it. We're going to adhere our teacup pattern to our Orchid Oasis. I like that placement, looks about right. And then we're going to run Orchid Oasis really nice and heavy on that. Well, it's on our left hand side. It's on the left hand side as it's facing front too. Because what we're gonna do next is take these two little banners and we're just gonna glue them on using that glue that's on the back. Gonna add a little bit more and then bring the whole thing to the card. This one I even did a little bit different. And that's okay. We want our sprigs to show. We want our banners to show. With liquid glue, you got time to just kind of arrange those guys. Everyone can look a little different. It's okay. It really is. I'm gonna show a little bit more of that sweet sorbet tag or banner by just lifting up the Orchid Oasis one. There it is. Now our thank you is next. A little liquid glue. And we're gonna put that to left of center, glue it down. Now I've got my flower and some dimensionals right here, mini dimensionals. I'm gonna put a mini dimensional on the back of my flower. Let's grab some linen thread. I love the linen thread with the new in colors. It's just that kind of natural earthy element. And with all the greenery and the tea boutique paper, I just love the natural crumb cake and linen thread compliment. You'll have to tell me what you think about that. It's definitely outside of the color palette in the paper pack, but I think it just works so well. All right, we're gonna get a mini glue dot for that. And I like to either put the knot on the center and then scrunch it up or roll up the glue dot with a take your pick tool or the tip of your scissors and then put that on the back. We can add that in the bottom right corner of our label. I don't know if you can hear it in my voice, but I'm watching very carefully for the UPS guy while I stamp. There's nothing like waiting for an order, right? Let me trim those tails so they're even. And I'm going to pop a little flower over the knot. Our leaves are gonna go on flat with a little bit of liquid glue. I'm gonna put enough, here's my tip, I'm gonna put enough liquid glue for both on the one. I'm gonna bring the other guy over and they're gonna kiss. And now we've got just a little dab of glue and we can't make a big gluey mess. We've helped ourselves not make a big gluey mess. And there is her greeting. Now, one more thing. What is a card without just a little bit of sparkle? I'm not 
really awesome at placing multiple sparkles. So what I decided on was a little sparkle and I got some rogue ones here that I wanna get my hands on. Little sparkle right in the center of the flower. Got my take your pick tool and I'm gonna pop that in the center and smash it down. Let's get these out of the way. I'm having a little bit of trouble with the way the my um, linen thread is going. It's kind of, I want it to go out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my card, grab my linen thread, holding on and just with my bone folder, I'm just gonna change the direction of that linen thread. You can kind of, it's got a mind of its own because it comes off that spool, but if you want to help it, help it into the direction where you want it to go, you can use your bone folder for that. See, now my tails kind of go out from the loop. We're going to clean the frayed edge off and that's it. Thank you. <laughs> now they're all ready to send out to some of my kitchen table stamper customers. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for your business and your support. Thanks for watching today. If you've got questions about the project, email marissa at kitchentablestamper.com and to shop Stampin' Up 24-7, buzz over to marissaalvarez.stampinup.net. Thanks for watching.